This is a reading of Brenda's blog, titled, You're Larger Than 3D Life. Dear ones, Meshing with your 3D friends and family is becoming more and more difficult. Not because they are wrong, but because you are different. You are becoming larger physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So it is, you seem larger than life to 3D beings, even though you're similar to how you appeared before transitioning. In 3D terms, your charisma has increased. So you might look the same in a mirror, but others see a sparkle, a charismatic being that encourages those of 3D to look more closely, to wish to be with you. You have perhaps read about certain dignitaries or movie stars who seem larger than life. So it is for you now. Even though you're not doing or saying anything that unusual, your sparkle and love light up the room. Many of you believe you do not display love, that you are as you always have been. Yet you likely find people remember you more than was true in the past you might discover you wish to hibernate a bit longer than is necessary during this COVID time, but not know why. If you remember from our last channel, being among large groups of people has become difficult for you because you are internalizing more of their frequencies. There is another reason you find different frequencies difficult to be around. You are a new being, somewhat unfamiliar with 3D personhood, and very uncomfortable with 3D actions, words, and shoulds. At the same time, you seem more luminescent to others. Your interactions with large groups of people, especially those of 3D, are uncomfortable because you sense much more and those of 3D expect you to be so much more. You are not interested in the charismatic pedestal those of 3D want to place you on. It almost seems like a waste of time to be in 3D company because there is little you can learn. Imagine you're a 1960s 13-year-old, adolescent girl, enamored with the Beatles. If Paul, Ringo, George, and John appeared on your doorstep, you would be so overcome you probably would not be able to communicate. In turn, those young men would find you silly, but not at all interesting. So it is for you now. You are like a cherished dream for many of 3D. But there is nothing they can teach you. Nor do you wish to emulate any part of their life. You have outgrown most 3D humans. You are not better than 3D humans. You are merely different. And that difference is the need to discover more about your new personhood with little interest in the 3D you have shifted beyond. If you had a similar charisma when you were of 3D, you would have marveled at your luck. You could have created all sorts of 3D glories for yourself, as has been true for movie stars, politicians, corporate giants, leaders, artists, and musicians. The charisma that opened 3D financial and personal doors. Such is similar for you now. The difference is you desire a different type of creation. Your interests are more about what you can learn and create. Almost as if you are interested in inventing automobiles and those of 3D are interested in raucous partying. You are too busy creating anew to address the need of those who wish to adore you or to enter into their conversations of right and wrong. Your days likely roll along with not much interaction with others. Not because you cannot interact with others, even though it's uncomfortable at times to have 3D internal chatter in your being, but because you have such different interests. 
You are a new being in a new world and not at all interested in your former 3D life or the rules that 3D life included. There is no reason for you to attend this or that gathering, nor is there a reason for you to interact with those wishing to place you on a charismatic pedestal. You are new you, with new interests and interactions. Allow that to be. If or when you feel like it, you can encourage those of 3D to follow your lead by merely being you. There are more exciting pieces for you to assimilate than walking among those who wish to put you on a pedestal instead of following your lead. So be it. Amen.